So um, so then I locked the project again um, about uh, generation at the workplace. And the idea is that to create a situation uh, which is in fact that <coughs> we are going to take part into a TV show and to take part um, on this TV show we have right to be selected and the idea is that we are going to answer an, um, an announcement which is that uh, to write a mail to explain uh, our work experience with different generations and then uh, maybe we will be selected. So there is a motivation and objective, which is that we have to read the mail, and to do that we have to study the different uh, the different generations and the description of the different generations, and to create uh, um, like a role play of a, a work environment in which uh, different generations are working together. So uh, for that, uh, I'm going to give uh, different texts describing different uh, generations and labels. But first, I project uh, the map of the classroom. So there, there was a placement test. And uh, with this, uh, I have a vision of the students concerning uh, the reading skills because we are in a uh, reading activities so uh, this is my desk and then there are the tables of the students so, so here it's just a sample with letters so each student uh, is um, situated and placed in a particular uh, on a particular table with a color which corresponds to the level so orange it's a2 a uh, yellow is A1, uh, green is B1 less, and blue is B1. So we are here in the first year of, of uh, in high school. So the, the level to reach for the first year is B1, so the blue color. So they have, they know where they are, they know the level they have reached, and to the right you have a picture about the level to reach. And then they will have the different items and um, criteria to check this level to go on next time. The, the disposition is, in fact, to help more particularly students together according to the levels and for the common moment to share the information from the easiest one, ele the easiest element. Uh, nearest to my desk to the most complex elements uh, at the back of the classroom to create a kind of symbolical wave to have elements which are more and more complex uh, so i give them the different texts so here it's the text i found with the source uh, i gave on my document so a text for generation z for instance or another student will work on uh, on, for instance, generation Y and so on and so on. So each uh, student has a text to read with here the reading and the different elements he has to check during the reading part and also a reading tip which is in fact a um, grammatical item to work on which can help to understand the text. So each student has a different text so they are one text for Generation Z, one text for Generation Y, one text for Baby Boomer, and one text for Generation Z, if I remember then. So they, they have text, different texts. So they have to focus on one text with uh, the different steps to, to find. And if you look at the colors, so orange green, blue green, and brown blue, uh, with more and more items so when they have finished a level they, they have to call me I check and I say okay you have time so you can go on the next step so it's a uh, eight minutes of activities okay so eight minutes this activity of reading uh, and then after they have two minutes to exchange with the neighbor about the text because the text will be the same by table okay so um, then uh, the exchange at the beginning of the year are 
the exchanges are in French because I think it's important for the students uh, to to be sure they have understood things to exchange in their mother tongue and more and more uh, in English in the progress of the year but I think it's important to begin to check the understanding uh, using French as a mother tongue because uh, we are in France uh, my students are French students, so I think it's important to to collaborate and to exchange in this tongue first. And during the year, I I'm going to give them tips to do that to interact in English, but not at the beginning because it's a bit difficult. And the objective is to be sure they have understood the things. So after I give them, uh, in fact, I have them to be by by group. Okay, concerning the same text. So I have a part of the classroom with the same text. So they, they, they are together by four people and they use this document, okay, which is a tablet uh, 0, 0.0. So each student is seated here. He writes his name in the labels and they write elements, personal elements on each part, personal part. And after, they have a moment in which, in which it exchanged together to find the most important elements in the middle to make a kind of summary of the text. And after this moment, which is timed, uh, we do something which is in fact a, a common moment. Okay. And to, to manage the group, I have also, uh, I'm using uh, a document which is a Tetra Adra. Okay, you have some pictures. So there are colors, and each team has the pyramid on the table and the color at the top corresponding to a message they are going to give me for me to react. So blue one is there are too much noise, so do something because it's difficult to work. The green one is we are finished, so can you come and check? Uh, or job and when I check and it's good I give them the next step and then if they are finished before the other groups they have something else to do and not to wait for the others to finish the the yellow one is we are working so work in progress don't disturb us we are going to work and it's a moment in which I give them time to work together and the red one is we have a problem can you come and uh, help us by using this object, it's interesting because uh, when I have to move in the classroom, uh, I have they they have there are signals, and I can help a group uh, when uh, the group needs it, and not at random. And it's very interesting to to manage the um, the help during the lesson. Uh, so after we put it in common, the things. So some volunteers by team uh, speak. And we create together on the copybook a kind of a timeline to place the different uh, generation labels on the time. And then at the end of this lesson, I give them as homework uh, a specific text about earpiece to, to read. And in fact, to see if they can transfer the methodology we have seen together about reading individually for the next lesson. Well. So, see you soon for the next episode.